Hi. Now, in this question, we're given that figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve h with equation y equals 3 divided by x plus 4, where x doesn't equal 0. And in part a, we've got to give the coordinates of the point where h crosses the x-axis. And then in part b, give the equations of the asymptotes to h. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for the first part, part A then, we've got to find out where the curve H crosses the x-axis. Well, it clearly crosses at this point here, and at this point the y-coordinate would be 0. So all we've got to say then is when y equals 0, that means we've got 3 over x plus 4. 3 over x plus 4 must equal 0. And we just need to rearrange this and solve it for x. So if I subtract 4 from both sides, we end up with 3 over x equals minus 4. And then if I multiply both sides by x, we end up with therefore 3 equals minus 4x. And then if I divide both sides by minus 4, we end up with x equaling 3 divided by minus 4, which is minus 3 quarters. So to summarise then, it said where did h cross the x-axis? So I'm going to say therefore h crosses the x-axis. OK, the x-axis. And those coordinates will be at minus 3 quarters and 0 for y. OK, right now in the next part, part b, we've got to find the equations of the asymptotes to h. So it's got to be several because it's got asymptotes. And where would those asymptotes be? Well, I can see that it's most probably going to be the y-axis and it's going to be the line running through here. OK, we we'll just draw that on there, where the curve approaches this line. Well, I say first of all, it's most probably going to be the y-axis, but it is because I can see that I can't divide by zero x cannot be equal to 0 because this would make this value undefined. It would tend to either plus infinity or minus infinity. So we've got that x would equal 0. That's the equation of the y-axis. So that's one asymptote then. So let's just write here asymptotes. All right. OK, well, one of them is going to be x equals 0, basically then the y-axis. Now, the other one is going to be this line here. And if we're to find this equation, all we need to do is let x tend to infinity. What happens to the y-values as x tends to infinity? They're going to approach this value of y. Well, as x gets larger, and stays positive, this term goes to 0, so y tends to 4. So y tends to 4, let's just put it under here, y tends to 4. It's just a little bit more than 4 though, so I'm going to say 4 from above. And when we go out this way, as x tends to minus infinity, okay, this term here, tends to 0, but it's just slightly below 0. It's a negative term. So if I add 4, I'm going to get a value for y, which is close to 4, but just slightly less. So I'm just going to say it's going to approach 4 from below. But basically, if we combine these ideas, what we have got then is an asymptote, this one here, where y equals 4. Okay.